Hi everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to shorten your shirt in three steps. And it's super easy. This is for uh, a knit shirt, t-shirt, or stretchy shirt, whichever way you want to say it. Um, the first step is to mark it. Now, this is a dress I'm working on because someone gave me a knit dress and I didn't want it to be a dress. I want it to be a long shirt that I can wear over leggings or skinny pants. And shirts just aren't made like that these days, it seems like. So decide how much shorter you need it and then measure up from the bottom. So I marked where I wanted my shirt, my shirt to be. So I measured here. I pinned on one side and then I got a ruler and I just measured up actually like this and then um, so this is 13 and a half here I moved over and I marked it at 13 and a half here 13 and a half here and I am going to try and make these lines a little more clear so I don't mess anything up when I go to Sew it. Now in this um, alteration, you're going to need, um, some people call it a twin needle, some people call it a double needle, but it's basically two needles in one shaft that goes into your machine. Um, now I'm just going to create my line, and you'll need to do this as well. So if you're measuring up two inches from your shirt, you're going to create a line two inches above your hemline. And that's actually all the measurements you need. This is just a really, really easy alteration. And for some reason, this looks crooked and it's frustrating me. Flip it over and do the back. Now, um, if you have any um, taking in the sides to do, if you need to take in the sides, um, you'll want to do this before this alteration. So take up the sides, make it look the way you want it to look, and then come back and do this. Because you might want to take the alteration, the slimming part of your shirt down into the hem, and this will just make it a lot easier if you do, it, if you do that first. Okay, now you need to get your machine set up, get the thread you need inside um, in, on your machine, and uh, get your double needle inserted and get that going too. And I'll show you what's next. Okay, um, in order to do this um, alteration, you're going to need a twin needle. And the way this works is you need to have um, two spools of thread and um, what you need to do is take one and you thread your machine and then put it through one of the needles then you do the second one try not to slide the second needle I mean the second thread through the tension discs and the, the threading process you just lay it lay it and don't pull your thread because it can cause the other one to bunch up on the inside so I got that set up and um, I have uh, two different sizes that I was considering. I have a 2.5 millimeter and I have a four millimeter. And I decided to go with the 2.5 millimeter. 
and so everything is set up. I'm using two different color threads because I don't have two of the same color and because I have um, different colors in my in my dress that you won't be able to tell. Okay, now just to go back over what happened yesterday, I chalk marked my dress where I want it shortened to where I want it shortened to and I took the length of my dress and I folded it inside and I folded it on the chalk line so there's the hem of the dress in there it's folded on the chalk line and I'm going to start on a side seam and I'm going to lay the fold right here on the 5 8 of an inch mark and remember first step was chalking your shirt or marking it second step is this which is the sewing part I'm aligning it on the 5 8 inch mark and you just sew like normal As you're sewing it I would recommend that you stretch it just slightly just to take up any extra um, slack that might be in the, in the fabric due to the presser foot pushing. Okay, and then now all we need to do is flip this inside out and trim off the excess. When you're finished sewing, this is what your hem would look like if you let the excess fabric down. So this is the hem that we just sewed here. If you look at it, this is what it kind of looks like. It's kind of hard to tell in here because it's a print. So now what we're going to do is from the hem, Okay, so here's the hem of my dress, the old hem and the new hem. I am going to cut right up to the to that stitching line. Sorry, my scissors sound like they need oil or something. And for this, I'm using my duck build scissors, and that is for getting really close to your stitching line. And you just put it under here. If you're not really uh, concerned with getting, you know, that close, then you can just use a regular pair of scissors. But this keeps um, the fabric underneath from getting caught up in the cutting. Keeps it away from the blades. So you just place your hand underneath as support. And you just run it along. And that's what it's going to look like. Okay. That's the third part. And now all you need to do is take it to the iron board and press it out and you're finished. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to share it and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified when I upload more videos. Thank you. Bye.